watching this morning. Two planes collided over South Carolina near Charleston. Two people were killed. The Air Force pilot was able to eject safely. Our News 8 Stephanie Simone is live from News 8 Control with more on the story. Steph? Jim and Allie, as soon as the sun came up, crews now searching for remains while the investigation starts as to exactly what happened. But first, listen to the 911 calls. Now we're getting reports of two planes down at this time, small plane versus a military style jet, small plane in the water at this time, Lewis Place Plantation, Berkeley Wrightsville off of Old Highway 52. I am on scene with the caller and at the incident, um, it's in a small holding area off the main river, there's no way to get here by uh, boat. This will be the trailer port where we have one engine inside the trailer port of a plane. You were looking at pictures of the trailer park of that debris. Officials say two people on a Cessna 150 died when it crashed into an Air Force F-16 fighter jet. It happened about 10 miles outside of Charleston around 11 in the morning yesterday. Now, first responders will be searching through miles of debris. The pilot of the F-16 was able to eject safely. But the Air Force says he was doing test runs when this happened, but they still cannot find the remains of the two people on board that Cessna. Experts say the Cessna should have shown up on the fighter jet's radar and that the air traffic controllers should have warned the Cessna about the F-16. The NTSB and the Air Force are now investigating into exactly what caused this horrific tragedy. At noon, the NTSB also plans to brief the media as to the name of the people on board the Cessna. We will bring that to you right here at News 8. For now, we are live in News 8 Control. Stephanie Simone, back to you.